Hello everyone, I am Fabrice Caps. I am an EMEA DevOps and Automation Portfolio Specialist for Nutanix, and I will demonstrate to you today how to automate VPC creation and self-service project creation for MSP use case. This is the content of the demo. So we first use the Terraform provider to set up VPC internal subnet and root configuration. And then we will use the Nutanix Calm DSL to create the Calm project, the Calm environment, to deploy the VPC tunnel, and then final, finally to publish the marketplace to the, pro, to the project that we've just created. This is an example of the workflow that could be done. So first, the MSP admin will use the runbook that will be used to create a VPC matching the customer requirements. Then a second call can be done to execute once again the runbook to create, for example, a second VPC for a second customer. And then when it's done, the customer will be able to deploy application that was published uh, within the marketplace within their own VPC, meaning within their own CAM project. So it will trigger the deployment, then the marketplace item will launch the application, which will be deployed on the overlay network that has been created. Another example for the customer O2, which is a similar use case, it will deploy the VM on its own VPC. Now let's switch to the demo. For this demonstration, I've deployed one Calm VM, and this Calm VM will target another pre-central where the VM will be deployed and where the VPC will be created as well. So the first tab here is the Calm VM, and the second tab is the Prisma Central target. So I will now first connect as an admin on the Calm VM. and I go straight to the current services. So we can see here that for now, we don't have any specific projects which are created. And now we will create, so we will start a runbook that we will create the VPC and that will create the project itself. So I have the runbook here. I will execute it. And we can see here that I am specifying a customer name. So in my example, the customer will be uh, the name, uh, the, the customer username will be customer01 user01. And then the VPC assigned to this customer will be the VPC01. And then we can here specify the different subnet that we want to create and on which network this VPC will be connected. So I just run execute, and then it will go through all the steps. As it's doing the deployments, I will connect to the pre-central to demonstrate to you what is done. So the first thing that will be done is the VPC creation, then internet subnet will be created and to finish we will create the root so we can see here that the vpc was created then the two subnet so if i go under the vpc section i should see one vpc which is the vpc01 then if i go in the vpc i can see the two subnets and the roots that are created here if I go back to the pre-central, I can see the different task. So now it's finishing the Terraform appliment. Now it will create the current project. So if I go back to the current project itself, I can see now that I have the VPC01, which is created, that I have one user, which is assigned, which is the user customer01-user01, and that I have the infrastructure with the subnet 01 and 02 of this specific VPC, which are assigned to this project. So now if I connect uh, with the customer username, I should be able to just see my VPC 
and then deploy an application within my VPC only. The last task that was done uh, with the runbook was to publish the application to this project. So if I go to customer 01-user01 at denixlab.local, I connect with this username. Now I will see under the cal that I have access only to my project. If I will have several project, I will see the several project listed here. And I should see within the marketplace that I have my VM, which is uh, ready to be deployed. This one is a very single, uh, very simple single VM blueprint. So I can just click on get, launch it, and then I will do demo VPC calm 01. You can see that everything is uh, already populated and I just need to click on deploy. And I will now fast forward the video until the VM, the VM deployment is finished. OK, now the VM is deployed. We can see that it is in running state. And then uh, Calm has access to this VM through the VPC that is uh, in form as connected here. To speed up the demo, I've created already the customer 02 user and the VPC, the same way that I, we, we've done for the VPC 01. I will now just deploy a new application, demo customer 02 VPC VM, and I will deploy it. And we will see that with the customer 02, I don't have access to the VPC 01 project. I only have access to my own project, which is the VPC 02, and to the application that I've, uh, I've just deployed. That's it. Now I will switch back as an admin. And we will see that as I am an admin, I can see all applications that are deployed. OK, so NX to tech here. Um, under Calm. I will see the two different projects, VPC01, VPC02, and the application that I've just deployed for the VPC01 and for the VPC02. And if I go under the pre central where I'm managing the VPC, I can see the different VPC here. So that's it for now. Thank you for your time and see you soon.